with this video to talk about the next major update for the PlayStation 5, which is now live to the public. Finally, as you know, as we said already, as I said already, pretty much, I didn't give a date. I didn't give a date, and Sony stuck with their, you know, their regular pattern situation so that's good but we're gonna dive into the fe uh, which of those features today and if you can hit that like button on the video thank you to those that do it and as always it's very much appreciated now before we dive into that i want to know first yes or no are you going to be buying a eight terabyte ssd or not this is one of the updated supported features for the new system software update but i'm just curious for me that's way too much storage and it costs way more than the playstation 5 itself so i'm good with my two terabyte uh, ssd but that's just me what about you so comment below yes or no if you're going to get an eight terabyte ssd for your playstation 5 or not let me know down in the comments below now diving into the main story of the video, the next major update for the PlayStation 5, update 8.0, which is now live. Let's dive into the features. Remote play is now supported on more Android devices, mainly tvOS, Android tvOS devices. So this is pretty cool because that means if you have a, a TV in another room and it has an Android TV device connected to it, you can remote play off that. That's pretty cool. You don't need multiple PlayStation 5s. You could just use that feature in itself. Uh, next up is Dolby Atmos is now a thing on PlayStation. You can turn it on in the sound settings and you're done. One thing to note, you turn on Dolby Atmos, it turns off 3D audio for TV speakers. I personally use that, so that's why I noticed it. Also, Dolby At uh, Atmos is supported on games that have Tempest 3D audio support already, which is a lot of them, so don't worry there. And for media apps, those specific companies need to update those apps like Netflix, uh, YouTube, etc. They need to update those apps for Dolby Atmos support, but the console itself supports Dolby Atmos. Next up, you can now use an 8 terabyte SSD. The max before it was four. I don't need eight terabytes. It's also really expensive, uh, but it's an option. So there you have it. Uh, next up, screen reader now supports Turkish and Portuguese. Uh, the Axis controller that comes out later this year on December 6th, I believe, is now supported, meaning you can assign a second controller to the same user. If you want to do one of the combos Sony mentioned for the Axis, Axis controller, like using two DualSense controllers, uh, with the Axis controller or mixing the Axis controller with a DualSense controller, different combinations. Basically, you can assign more controllers to the same user to get the best combination that allows more gamers to be able to play games their way if they need the assistance. Uh, next up, Game Hub has been updated. You can now easily join your friends by jo uh, just going to your friends list. And next to their name, you should be able to see a joinable icon. If they're on a game, you can join. Click on that user and click on the join option on their profile. I'm excited to use this feature with uh, my friends finally, who obviously didn't have the beta. This will make our lives easier because we don't have to ruffle through, ruffle through, is that a word? I don't know. <laughs> Shuffle through the menus to try to join each other through the, through the system UI. Uh, you can now see previews of people sharing their screen in the party section in Game Hub. If someone in your party is sharing their screen, you can see a small preview of this in the party section. You can now also start a private party without creating a new group. You can also invite people into your uh, your party without inviting them into your group like a temporary party member. You used to have to invite them into your group and then they're a part of your party. But if you just want them to jump in there just for a conversation with your friends and not make them a member, um, then you can do that. You can send out invites to groups of players as well instead of just one by one. You can now also react to messages with emojis and you can see all the shared media you ha media you have in a group which I just found out today found out about that today and I, I think that's pretty cool it's just pretty much like how on iMessage on iPhone uh, you go to a person you click on their name and uh, you see all the shared media between you two and now you can do that with groups of friends on party on uh, PlayStation 5 which is pretty cool uh, cards have been upgraded when you have multiple uh, activities ready. The newest one will be available with a standalone card to be the main focus. Um, game help cards have also uh, been improved. I like this one a lot. With in-progress activities, you can now see available, previously available, upcoming, and complete activities. Uh, beyond that, the one I really like, the part that I really like, and also cards now have inf their information slide to the right when a card uh, where when you just hover, you know, I don't know if you call that hover, when you just slide on a card, 
You used to have to click on it to see more information. Now you're just on it and it slides information to the right. I love that. That should have been there from the beginning, but it's there now. Very convenient. Uh, beyond that, you can now get haptic feedback when using the UI. I've been using this for most of the beta. I liked it personally. It's a nice feedback effect when I'm using the UI. It's, 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 it feels nice. Uh, I didn't see a major drop in battery life from my controller if you're worried about that. Uh, in Game Hub, you can see the tournaments option and you can now see how many tournaments tournaments you've entered and the highest place you've gotten for those tournaments so i don't personally use this feature can't really uh, go in depth into it uh on a player profile you can now see their most played game uh you can search games directly in your game library now instead of searching across the entire of the entirety of the playstation network store so that's perfect that should have been there a long time ago you can now browse all the playstation 5 tips in a new discovered tip section and settings uh, simplified kanji, hopefully I said that correctly, has been added for input text for Chinese. Uh, you can now finally mute the beep, uh, beep sound on the PlayStation 5, which was a big thing uh, when starting it up. I personally won't mute this iconic sound, uh, but if you don't want to mute it completely, you can also adjust the audio level for that beep sound as well, which I don't think was mentioned when the beta first rolled out. Uh, you can now see video output detailed uh, in detailed information with seeing the current output signal information and the information for the connected HDMI device across all resolutions available, uh, which is pretty cool. Again, another feature I don't think was mentioned in the uh, beta, but that's a pretty cool set of information. I think Digital Foundry might find that uh, useful or interesting. Uh, voice commands have been upgraded. You can now navigate between help content pages using voice command. If you say what's new also on any screen on your PlayStation 5, uh, it'll automatically show you new features new PlayStation 5 features and information about uh, PlayStation Plus. And unfortunately, as a Canadian, I don't have access to any of this. It's still only for the US and UK, so I can't really I can't really speak on it. Um, beyond that, QR, the QR login page has been updated. The QR code is now bigger, you know, if you cared about that. Uh, DualSense, DualSense Edge, PSVR 2 and PSVR 2 Sense controllers have been updated for stability as well. So that's the major uh, PlayStation 5 update, a lot of uh, features out there for, you know, for various people, accessibility, social, uh, stuff like that, and a long time features that people have wanted, you know, the, the beep sound. I didn't know how big of a thing that was, but uh, it's a huge thing. Um, but that's really it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. As it always helps, so subscribe if you're new. I got new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And before I check you out on the next one, I want you guys to comment below. What's your favorite feature that I mentioned here? Or what you're most interested about? Let me know down in the comments below. And now, I'll check you guys out on the next one.